Get him, get him, got him. Got him. Got him, boy. Oh, pretty fish. Oh! Why the hell are we exactly. losing them all? Oh! oh. It's exactly what we were looking for. Dude! Look, look at, at that, that fish. Force. What's up all you addicts out there? We are here with another episode of Addicted Life. Thanks so much for tuning in. Today we got a special guest. Ryan, you wanna introduce yourself and let people know what we're doing today? Yeah, hi guys, uh, I'm Ryan Beck. Uh, my guide service is uh, Ryan Beck's Guide Service and uh, we're out here at the coast today and we're gonna go uh, try and catch some wild steelhead to put in the broodstock program. Uh, also try to catch some hatchery fish to you know make for some, some good dog biscuits. <laughs> yeah, that's what we're doing today. We're gonna go out here and uh, catch some fish. We're gonna do a quick pass real quick, go down, actually watch the guys uh, down, the Department of Fish and Wildlife guys pick up some fish that were put in yesterday in the broodstock tank down there and then uh, talk to them a little bit about the, you know, the, the in-basin hatchery fish in the, the program that we're working with. Yeah, and hopefully educate all you addicts out there a little bit more on it because we're not the experts on it. We're trying to learn. We're trying to help and do what we can to really just assist our fisheries. But the biologists hopefully down the river will be able to tell us a little bit more about what's going on here, why it's successful. You've been guiding here for a while now, haven't you? Uh, I've been guiding over here for three years. Three years, so, so. But I've been fishing down here for, you know, 10. 10. So, yeah, it's, uh, the broodstock program definitely, you know, helps, uh, you know, for us to be able to catch some some bigger fish. Yeah. yeah, yeah, and just give everyone more opportunity to catch fish in general. So, wish us luck. Comment down below. Let us know what you guys are thinking of these episodes. We're really trying to support this broodstock programs in all sorts of rivers. So if you have a broodstock fishery going on or you want us to come fish with you or anything, comment down below. Let us know. Shoot us an email. We love hanging out with all you addicts. Thanks for having us, Ryan. Yeah, it's going to be a fun you episode. Guys. Let's get them. Let's get them. Pull your anchor out. Yeah, why don't you hop in, just pull it all the way up and just hang it in the roller. About this lower river, it's, you know, pretty wide open. There's not crazy structure. So, like, if you see green water, fish it. That's what I always tell my guys. Find the greenest water and fish it. You know, unless I specifically say, hey, hit this spot. Yeah. And this next hole is deep coming off this point. Yeah, see, that's where you'll help me a you, lot is just let me know a little yeah, bit Yeah, if you're going to be running that, that type of setup, up at the top. I'll run this type of setup until I see Cam hook like three or four fish, and then I'll switch. <laughs> okay, and I got bead setups too. Yeah, or I'll use whatever you want me to you know? or whatever, but yeah. I figured just throw something different until we... Yeah, for sure. And there's a there's jig rods, worm rods. I got some prawn too. Wind is gnarly. <laughs> yeah. Oh my God. We look so bad at like some of your backgrounds like do it the same. See how this point comes off? Yep. Just keep it a little bit off the point. Okay. And then once you get down here past this waterfall, I would go just to like, you know, three or four feet. Okay. And you'll you might even be tapping a little bit. This is probably the windiest section ever. <laughs> it had to be that way because every time I come to this damn river, something it blows out. So it wasn't <laughs> rain today, now it's the wind. Yeah. I get it. I get it now. We got about an hour till we need to be down there for those guys. But yeah, if you want to hop out, like you can work it all the way around to the top end of that boulder and then just a little bit below. This looks so there. good to swing a spoon through. Do it. Get it Go over to the I want to trip my eggs. Should we? Should I get out? Do we got time to? Yeah, yeah, we're good. We're good because we can literally be down there in, in 10 minutes, okay. 15 minutes. I guarantee no, not many people are going to put spoons through these rooms. There's potential to catch a giant today. There is. There, there is, is big is. monster fish going into all these rivers right now. I've been seeing them get caught everywhere. Uh, and this river has just as many monsters. It does. Everyone always thinks about it for those hatchery fish, but it's like, this thing has some monster wilds. They're mean. They are mean. <laughs> All right, everyone, who, what do you think, what do you think we're gonna catch fish on today? Is it gonna be spoons? Is it gonna be these lame ass little tiny beads? Is it gonna be worms, <laughs> jigs? What do you guys watching think we're gonna catch fish on? Comment below, 
give us some guesses. I'm hoping that a big giant monster crushes this spoon. That's what I hope. Find out. About to find out. <laughs> yeah, we've been sitting here waiting for you. In your own world? He can't hear us. The wind's too loud. <laughs> Now we're gonna go slide around the corner, see if we can get out of that main flow of W. Oh wow, that was fun. <laughs> Never mind, not accomplished my goal. So you see that black stuff out there, Marlon? Yep. Yeah, just go to the just pass it. We're right on top of it. Cam, you're gonna have some troubles in there. There oh, is, there's no, some yeah. stuff. Oh, there's yeah. some stuff. Um, definitely might want to switch to a float of some sort. I want to break this meter off. Oh. I want to try to accomplish Okay, then cast it right at the tree. <laughs> cast up into the branches, you'll bust it. Oh, Marlin, 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 Marlin. Oh. oh. That's not very nice. That's funny. <laughs> <laughs> oh, well, more or less. They're gonna be here what time? Uh, about 9.15, 9.30. And all of this, where we're gonna be, we can, we can fish it. Cam, hit this right side real quick. Just go as far up as you can. All right, guys, so we got down here to the acclimation pond and we're going to wait a few minutes for some of the ODF and W guys to get here. So hopefully we can see some big wild steelhead that we're putting those tanks. And then I'm really hoping we can go up river and get out of this damn wind because it is tough fishing right now. But you know what? We're going to make the best of it. And you know what? You're going to have to earn it. You know what? <laughs> going to have to earn it. <laughs> I what do you hope, guys think out there? Don't you think Cam just needs to light up I a hope, little bit? Everyone? I know. I hope Cam needs a nutty buddy. Cam needs a nutty Maybe buddy. Maybe some donuts. <laughs> I'll eat a donut. Who bust those things out? Yeah. You're the man they're, of donuts. They're right there in the bow. Oh, look, Chocolate look, donut look, time. Look, I got donuts. You don't got donuts, but I got donuts. <laughs> of those things. Donuts and lace. I'm just going to yeah. kick back some chocolate donuts and watch Ryan and Cam catch a bunch of big giant wild fish today. Yeah. I heard there was uh, an 18 put in <laughs> earlier this week. Can so. we go up and look in the tank right now? Yeah, we can walk up there and look. There. Dude, let's do it. There is something. Let's go pre-look. <laughs> Dude, I think we can jump it from right here. I was Ready? just going like, to do soft. it. Ah, oh, he's still alive, darn it. Oh, right here's gonna be dialed coming I'm back. Oh no! <laughs> oh, way to kill the reds, dude. <laughs> yeah. We're gonna die if we go in. Oh, we might. Oh yeah. I guess we got here just in time. We just came up the hill to take a look. Oh, you can actually look in this pond here. Oh, look at him! Look at him in there! Super healthy. I don't see no eight oh, There's a big pen in there. One, two, five, six, seven. So we got about five minutes here. You guys fill in the tank. We got seven steelhead in there. You know, transport wild, yep. unclipped. Steelhead, we're gonna bring in a brood. Exactly. Are they all gonna make it to brood? Are you guys gonna do them all the hatchery, or do you end up using them all, or kick them out, or? Um, well, it varies from year to year. They're all they all get taken over to the hatchery. Some of them will ripen up uh, in the window that we have to spawn them. Uh, others sometimes don't. Yeah. But uh, for the most part, you know, probably 90% of them are getting spawned, um, and we collect usually collect excess. So. Um, some of them will get returned unspawned at the end of the season if they haven't spawned sure. or, be, you, or beyond what we need for the program. How are you guys doing on this river like right now? You know, I mean, as far as like what's the, because I mean, for all you addicts out there that know, you know, like most of the steelhead seasons have been pretty, not as robust as uh, a lot of us like it, but how, how, well, how are the anglers doing on this river? It, it, what's that? It's not sugar coated, it's been subpar. Subpar. So far. Subpar is the word. <laughs> In but, most places. Yeah. Um, 
in this particular case, we were lagging behind our collections from uh, previous years. Right. Um, and, you know, we're just getting to the peak of the season the next couple months, so hopefully the collections will pick up. Um, we have expanded this program in the few, last few years, so we need more uh, adults than we used to. Um, so, you know, it's a concern at this point. We're, we're crossing our fingers we're going to end up making brood. We are doing some things to, for backup, collecting some returning hatchery fish at other locations. You know, our goal is still to make production, even if we can't make it with all wild fish. Yeah. But you prefer, I mean, obviously for like the anglers out there, I mean, you guys have seen in some of our other episodes, you know, catching some of those nice, you know, this isn't the normal like five, six pound little winter steelhead hatchery fish you guys are kind of creating here, right? I mean, these fish tend to come back, you know, 10 plus pounds sometimes. I mean, just on the average though. I mean, um, I mean we haven't collected any data on the average size. I, I do think they, they tend to run a little bit bigger. Um, one thing that's different than our old returning stocks is they don't mature right away when they come in. They sometimes they're in the river one or two months before they spawn. So it'd probably be a better better fish like, for an angler to take home anyways than I mean Yeah, yeah, it's clear to me it's yeah. clear that these fish are a better product. Um, they certainly contribute at a higher rate to the fishery, which is what our hatchery program is all about, is putting that fish out there for people to catch. So the more of them we get caught the better. Most years ideal for us would be hundred percent harvest and We'll just take a few, a few wild fish for right brood. So yeah, that's so awesome. Obviously, we don't achieve that, but you know, the perfect world. Well, you guys all need all back there need to do yeah. a little better then. <laughs> <laughs> Start catching some more fish. Come on, guys. I mean, geez. Well, let's go do it. Well, yeah. I, as right? soon as this W lays down, we might be able to actually cast. You yeah. Know? Yeah. 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 Just for your guys' benefit, what we're doing here is the anglers obviously drop the fish off here. We pick them up up to three times a week loading them in this live tank here to haul them to the hatchery. This is equipped with oxygen and a recirculation system, so the fish will be fine. We'll haul them over the hatchery here when we're done, and uh, they'll uh, put them in their holding ponds and uh, pens until they're uh, ready to spawn. So. For those of you guys out there, whenever you see the opportunity to donate, participate, or do any of these, like you said, the rendezvous, any of these other tournaments, organizations, your conservation groups that support these programs, make sure you guys help them. are doing this a little different than a long time ago where they used to take all the just the first ones that would come in until they got enough eggs. Yeah. We actually want to represent the full the system. Full extent of the run. And that also applies to like size of the fish. We're not asking anybody to high grade for big ones or yeah. you know anything like that. We want a good variety. We want a random representative sample of the entire population. The best we can. Yeah. I was fishing this morning. Oh uh, no, we just ran down, you know, real quick, and the, that freaking south wind's just kind of been hampering us. So we're gonna, we got our rigs down here, and we're gonna take out, and we're gonna go up to the top, see if we can get out of, out of the wind. Go. Cool. Well, good luck. Yeah, thank you. All right, so we got at least see a few wild steelhead that they transferred there. I think we're gonna load the gear back up here and. Um, Head down, take out, and head to the upper river and try to get out of this wind. So we're gonna mob down and put these boats on the trailers and go maybe put some fish in that tank. Kinda nice. All right, we just put the boats into the water here. Now it's time to get fishing. There is no wind, I'll say it. There's no wind up here. moreland has got his warm rod ready. What's new? Guaranteed, Could red happen. haze. We should probably put it. a bead dropper on it though, bro. Bead Ooh. dropper. You just no. shattered bead his world, dude. <laughs> you just And a soft bead. What did you say, boy? <laughs> <laughs> let's just, let's just put a wild in this tank. Let's do, let's, let's do that. Let's, let's do just that. do that. Stay tuned, we got some steelhead coming. So let me, I'll get you closer. 
And whenever you can fire, fire away. Yep, that big mossy one. Get the right now. There you go. It's amazing when you don't have any wind. <laughs> Feel nice and warm. Yeah, though. it's warm up here. In comparison to the is that bobber going away from you, Cameron. What is what's going on there? I have no idea. Did you just go like super deep? Yeah, I was. I did. That <laughs> was tripping me out. Did you just <laughs> see that? <laughs> What was that, bud? Please tell me you saw that. You're lying, hey, Marlon. Bud. Marlon, there's your bobber. Marlon, let's open your bobber. Go on there, bud. Go on there, bud. Did you cut my line, Ken? I told you don't mess with me. What in the mother? The bobber was just like... Doing some weird stuff, but like every every foot, kind of like. Hey, is there anywhere on this float we can stop and get a burger? <laughs> yeah. Well, if there's, you know, an elk burger, maybe. <laughs> you guys ever out there just when you're just on the river? Sometimes you just get the craving and you just want to eat something. That's me right now. I want a hamburger. <laughs> Fish? Uh, yeah. Literally, I just run that like 15 times in a row. Do it again. No way. God oh. dang it. Over. Is it fish? Yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. That rod was burying. They don't want worms because I put that through there so many times. What do you want to bait? Fudge. Because that one. If I would have hooked it, we were going. <laughs> it would have been down there, we were chasing it. <laughs> like, we were going. <laughs> Why not? That took a while to dig him out of there, though. I want at least one rod to kind of fish just this top little flat. A, you know, but somewhere in there, there's going to be another fish. Do you want to borrow a feed rod? <laughs> <laughs> Of course. Why would you even ask such a question? <laughs> no, I wouldn't have lost it on a jig. Yeah, get one going right out in that middle. Middle? Yeah. You kind of see it like off of that, off of that boulder out oh, yeah. there. <laughs> Come on, little buddy. Let's let you go here. Hatchery. Hatchery. All right, I'm going to tuck in just below this rock over here. And we can get out and go up the bank and make a few casts. This is, uh, is I think, yeah. Oh, we got it. Oh, no, 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 no. No. Good. Go walking down below that rock. It's gone. Uh, it, he, he went under a branch. Fish is off it? I think it popped because it, it, it went right underneath that. I never saw it, but it was messing him up. Oh. I saw him start to come in towards the rock, and I was like trying to give him so I could get up and over it. And there's a log right, a stick right there. That does weird. Because I could feel it like grinding. This big fish. <laughs> <laughs> he, was, he went up river like he just didn't care. And then he started coming and he started going. It was, it was a 
good one. Uh, that happens. That happens. Did he break you or what's Paul? He's got the leader. As soon as it got tight on that, I could just feel it go pop. Yeah. Well, that's fish two. That I've lost. Team Ryan Beck, <laughs> zero. <laughs> They're gonna make us earn it, I'm telling you. And you know, of course, like you waited for me to walk all the way up here with my rod to hook the fish, send me all the way back to the trip boat, and I run all the way back down here just to lose it, so. <laughs> <laughs> Pretty epic. Now, he was out in the middle, and that thing went. We'll see you later. And then it bink, and then he just worked straight up river. You, you just feel it. You're like, that's probably a heavy fish. And then he started to go, and I was like, Man, I gotta get around that rock. Uh, All right, you addicts out there, we're taking a little siesta because we're sick and tired of watching the Ryan Beck show, hooking all these fish and losing them. Just kidding, dude. More than I've hooked today, but we've hooked two fish and we lost them both. And he said the other one was a big one. But we still got some water left. Hey, I keep grinding. Fish. You landed your fish. Sean got it on video. Is he in the tank? He was hatchery. We had to let him go. Oh, well, that's pretty cool. Was he like seven, eight? Itches? Yeah. <laughs> Not even six, maybe conservatively. <laughs> oh. Well, we can't say we haven't had our chances. We can't say Ryan hasn't put us at least for some opportunities to get that big wild. So stay tuned. Get him, get him, got him, got him. Got him, boy. Ryan's like, get him, get him, get him. I, I was like, I'm waiting a little bit on this one. I want to make sure. <laughs> <laughs> that, that's another fish that took a little bit to dig out. Like, Red they're Haze! Not, they're not jumping on the first Red one. Haze, Jordan! Red Haze! <laughs> Haze! I'm gonna slide this over. Oh, are you? I'm, I'm just gonna okay. stay in the boat and push to bring him right to you, Cam. Colored. Oh, oh, pretty fish. Oh! oh that's okay. One, hey, yeah. 100. 100% it was a hatchery. It was hatchery? 100%. Yeah. Yeah. We, I saw him clear as day. It was a hatchery. So we need to <laughs> check this. That's tight, man. <laughs> you ripped it right out of him, bro. <laughs> but you know, have you ever caught a steelhead? Hey, I hooked one. You did. Until I you hook say, one. I can't see crap. It's all right. I, hey. I feel like that's a that's a landed fish. 100%. <laughs> yeah. <Nope. laughs> uh, Darn. Uh, why like the it, hell are we losing them all? Like I said, when I went around the front, I like somebody came up and the tail was like perfect. I was like, yeah. Here's Ryan. Opportunity. Here's Ryan trying to tell me how to freaking fight this fish, and he's lost two already. <laughs> that, was, that was good, buddy. Yeah, not at the boat. Oh, doesn't uh, matter. Not at the boat. You lost, you lost him. Shouldn't have lost him, dude. Especially that last one. He was a 25 pound brooder. <laughs> yeah. That was the one we actually wanted, Ryan. That, that is one. That. This is what we're working with, everyone. Got the red haze with the white tail. The black head, eighth ounce jig head. Just couldn't keep him hooked, dude. Couldn't keep him hooked, too much pressure. <laughs> There's gonna be some soft water right down here. Let me know what you need from me. You're good. He's kind of still facing downstream, but there you just turned up. Just turned up. Good. I'm just gonna like go nice. We're gonna take our time on this guy. Yeah. Nothing down in this one, right? No, there shouldn't be anything right down here. Nope. You're on anchor right now, so just let me know what you need. He's a horse. A good one. A nice fish. Super nice fish. There we go. Okay, I think we're gonna get down to business here. He's still got a few more runs yeah, in when he comes in here. He's been resting a while. I can't see if he's clipped or not yet. I haven't been able to see. I wanna say it's a big can, but no way. He's colored like a buck. Oh, he's wild. He's wild. Big, wild. huge wild buck. Big wild buck. Alright. Come on, baby. Marlon, get him in the net hole. Get him in the net! He's a big boy. Oh, he's a freezer. Big old wild buck. Oh, big old wild buck. Oh, oh don't do it. Nice don't do fish. it. Don't do it. Once he gets done, get ready. There he is. Head up. Good job, buddy. 
Nope. Nope. No. I just was, oh my gosh. I was see, I the knew. The second he got done with his I head, knew I he like, had a couple more of those yeah. runs left in him, so I don't want to try to get him. I mean, I know we should try to get him, but let's just let him freaking do his thing. Come on, baby. I want him. I we came. Want him. We found what we came for. Come on, let's get him in this net. He's just. Ryan's getting the box ready, Sean. Don't get the box ready yet. Ryan's getting the box ready. We're getting him. We're landing this mother effort. I'm just being super ginger. Yeah. The problem with big fish, man, you give them the wrong head, you give them the wrong pull at the wrong head shake and you break them or you lose them, but this stuff's pretty strong. I don't want to rip it out. I really need his head up. Yeah, I'm trying to. You just give it up right there, I can bring him right back in. There we go. He's almost there. He's almost ready. Just take your time with him. Let him stay. You can get out there. I can get his head up for you. Dude, yes! Yes! Freaking such a big a fish. nice fish, dude. Yeah. Yeah! yeah. Oh, it's a tank. It's man. a tank, dude. It's a tank. It's exactly what we were looking for. Dude, it's a nice fish. Look, Look at, at that, that fish. Horse. Look at that horse. Look at that fin. Look at that adipose. It's like at a Thule fin. Oh, baby. Ryan, buddy. Yeah, buddy, thank you. Throwing my ass down the river all day? Yeah. Let's just try to keep him nice and calm. Oh, geez. It's a horse. That's. It's a horse. That's a good one. <laughs> nice fish. Really? And you know what? Fish. Being a fishing guy for He's 15 years, I net. still get He's excited when we catch a nice fish. Wow. Because this net's 40. He's almost there. Wow. He might be. Bruiser. All right, let's All right. get that jig out. You got the box ready? You want me to get that? Yeah, you take the fish. Mm -hmm. Box is ready. It's a pig. We just lost it up there. Oh, as no. soon as we guys rode out, I just rode over for the hell of it, and I saw one move up. And so I backed out, and the very next cast, bobber down, feed was on the hook. And then we came around the corner, and you guys were fighting that one. <laughs> Getting feisty right now, man. That's one thing about these nets. It's kind of weird. I think when the fish feels like the netting and the webbing just on his fins around, they just get real content. And usually when we're sitting here waiting to try to take pictures or do our thing, fish just chills out, gets his oxygen back up, all that good stuff, gets ready to fight again. So I'm just gonna dump the net in there. Yeah. Ready? One, yep. two, three. <laughs> He's as big as your box, dude. <laughs> Oh my gosh. He's as big as the box. <laughs> Sick, bud. Such a hey, and just for the record. Look at that. Look at that, Alex. That's a good picture for him, <laughs> as always. Hey, just for the record, I landed mine. <laughs> I knew that was coming. Hey, hey yeah, I had to I give it to you. Woo. <laughs> Finally. Big one. Big one too, I'll take it. Big one. Well, I'll be really, we were gonna take any fish. I'll be able to find out the size of that fish. Yep. Like, no, but I, it's a big fish. Well, they weigh them for they you. They weigh them. The odds of another one of those going in the box is. Oh, that's badass. We'll be able to know the exact Yeah, weight. that's what you just yeah. said. That's cool. Yeah, I would guess 17. He's not 20. He might, he could be a little bigger because he is a pretty fat, girthy buck, and then you get a half inch of girth, you add two. Regardless? Pounds. Who cares? That's the one we want. We got That's it in the tank. One. That's exactly <laughs> the one You're going we want. for a boat ride, buddy. <laughs> Good call. <laughs> they called that. He's like, they've been sitting in that current. He's like, he literally called it. The boy! That a boy, Becky! That a boy! Boys are going upstream and playing. A little too loose. Well, the boat's pulling also. I'll try and tuck in over here on the left. What is it? A little chromer. little chromer. Ready? Oh my god! Look at that! Look at that! Look at that! Look at that! 
Hatchery. Hatchery. A little snaky. Hatchery sludge bucket. I'm right. like waiting for that hook to come like, like <laughs> yeah. For those of you out here, what we just the maneuver we just pulled right there is <laughs> not normal. It's not recommended, period. Unless you are a trained professional. Yeah. <laughs> Even then. <laughs> yeah. I'm just a, like, I got my Dan glasses had on. Safety glasses yeah, on I had my glasses good. on. Though. I wouldn't have probably done that if I did not. Oh my goodness, I'm glasses on. <laughs> and she's in here backwards. <laughs> so she's chilling. She's got that red haze all stuck in her face. Look at that. Yeah. Marlon, you landed one today, dud. Got one. Got him. Called that. Boom. He quick called it, dude. He's just like, oh, yeah, right there in that little bucket. They've been laying in there. It's been deep in and out. It's great. Bang. <laughs> Dang it. That's so cool. I don't need this fish because I got plenty of fish at home, so we're just gonna let her go. She yeah. landed in the Underneath the drift boat. <laughs> Running for cover. It's not safe for the honey. You might want to be. You don't want to be there. Red haze, dude. They're loving it. All right, guys. So we're back at the place where we practically started this morning. Ryan just went up to unlock the gate, broodstock tank. He's gonna call for when the fish is ready and then we're gonna rush this fish up there real fast in the addicted cradle net, put him in the tank. And then he's gonna make some big fat babies that we can bonk later on. I know, That's good genetics there, so. So now we're just floating the rest of the way down and then we're pulling out yeah. or what? I mean, unless you wanna fish this way for the next hour. No, I don't. No, me neither. <laughs> I say we go do something to eat. I'm down for that. What's good to eat in this town? In uh, Louisiana, is that where we're in Louisiana? I thought we were in Alabama. Kentucky, you said last Kentucky time you we were down here. Time. Yeah, Alabama. All right, let's, let's go. Let's go put this fish up there. All right, buddy. Oh, he's just chilling, bro. Oh, he ain't now. He's super hot right now. It's so true. Okay. Uh, don't let him pop out that top yeah. though, because sometimes yeah, they do. Keep the clamp there. They do do, do that. Do it. Do it. Oh, pig. Pig being entered in. Don't let him. All right, buddy. Let him. Put him in there and let him establish his dominance. Oh, look at that. There he goes, boys and girls. We're going to let him do his thing. All right, buddy. Good luck. Have fun with your honeys. Dude, a couple years from now. No. We're gonna come back here and catch that guy's babies. That's sick. How far do we have to go? 200 yards, 300 yards. All right, you guys, we're right back to where we took out this morning too, but this time we managed to drop a big wild in the tanks. Yeah. Got to talk to uh, Robert there at OEF and W and all that good stuff. So pretty neat program. One thing that he stressed though, guys, is that, you know, I think for this year, it sounded like they were pretty set up on their people, but if you want the opportunity to come out and participate in this broodstock program, you know, hire one of these great guides, hire this individual right here. Woo. Why don't you give yourself a plug on this and give you guys some information on where you can get a hold of you. And Okay, so uh, my name is Ryan Beck, Ryan Beck's Guide Service. I fish down here on the Oregon coast and also in the valley. Um, you can call me directly at 503-806-2392. Uh, we're gonna be fishing winter steelhead through April. So yeah, I do have some openings coming up, you know, throughout the season. Uh, yeah, I'd love to get you. And I'm tell, I'll tell you guys, it feels good. Like yeah, I didn't even catch a while, but it just feels good to know that we're contributing and putting fish to the future. Like it's just, it's awesome. So if you go out with Ryan, you get an opportunity to do that. You've already put a couple in already too yeah, before put, that, right? I put a couple in over here and then a couple over on the. <laughs> so eh, we're gonna beep that out. <laughs> That'll be beep. Don't on worry. A, on another river. Uh, you know, I also contributed a fish as well. So there's a couple places down here at the coast where if you're looking to help out with the broodstock program, to hop in a boat and go out and have a chance at catching uh, one of these nice winter steelheads, there, there is definitely some opportunity for that. And some opportunity to kill them too. I mean, Absolutely. Yeah, they're, yeah. they're here, they're there's here. There's hatchery fish yeah. as well. You know, it's, it, it seems like it's about 50-50 for the fish that we're catching. You know, so there's uh, like, I lost two 
really nice chrome fish today mm -hmm. um, that were probably hatchery maybe or probably right. big chrome or wilds. Your big chrome wilds <laughs> yeah yeah exactly so there's there's opportunity to harvest and there's opportunity to help out with the with the broodstock program you know which is going to you know provide future fish you know for you know for years to come yeah and so all you addicts out there whenever you get a chance to participate with any of the conservation groups that are helping broodstock programs any of the fishing tournaments local events anytime like that you know be sure to contribute and help out where you can and when you can yeah, absolutely. Do that? No, I don't think I got anything else other than make sure you guys give this video a thumbs up. Or if you don't like it, go ahead and give it a thumbs down. Doesn't matter to me either way. <laughs> You're going to like it. React to this video, please, in some way, shape, or form. Comment out there. Share it to your family. So like, comment, share. We're going to randomly select from the comments. We are going to start actually during our live feeds. We're going to start pulling the comments up, pulling the users up, and picking winners every single week on Wednesdays during our YouTube live feed. So comment below. You have a chance to win a prize pack to our addicted dot fishing. Share it out there, and we'll see you on the river. Later, Woo. guys. Like that. Dude, red haze strikes again. Ready, Jordan? She's not. Give him the end, dude. Hey, psych, you guys thought this episode was over, but it's not. On the just, new worm. Just came in. On the brand freaking new worm. All right, so everyone was cut. They all went and shuttled to go pick up the trucks. And I was like, ah, oh, I might as well fish while they're gone. So I just started fishing and I was literally, I had my rod up over the boat and I was like going over the top of Sean and my bobber drain. And I set the hook like literally mending over the top of the drift boat. But super stoked. The red haze with the white tail addicted worm. It's really been proving itself. <laughs> yes. <laughs> on a spoon. No, on a worm. Yes. <laughs> Gerber knife doing work. Let's bleed this thing out. No way! <laughs> I'm like, what are you doing with this net? Oh, that's sick. Oh, just like you own it, buddy. <laughs> See me out here? <laughs> that's so awesome. What'd you get it on, dude? Oh, red haze. Oh, my gosh. <laughs>